Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for another video today. I decided to stop by Sam's Club today to go ahead and see what I can get for Thanksgiving because it's only like three weeks to Thanksgiving and stuff's gonna go quick this year. So I wanna see if I can get a turkey. Um, I also just wanna check out kind of what holiday stuff they have on hand, the toys and stuff that they have out for kids and just all of the holiday themed pies and cakes and all of the stuff. Yeah, your birthday's coming up. Um, I do have the kids with me today because it is an e-learning day at school. It's veteran, no. Veteran. Election day, it's election day. Um, so they were off today. So let's go into Sam's Club and see what we can find. And I'll do my best to show you guys prices of everything and stuff that they have on sale and stuff for the holidays. Let's get going. Right when you walk in, they had all of the TVs on full display. You could get these 65 inches for $5.79 and $5.99 respectively. And then they had a display of all of like green beans for $6.48, stuffing or like french fried onions for $6.44, yams for $5.74, all of the Thanksgiving things on display. And then of course the Welch's sparkling grape juice for New Year's Eve. That was $9.98. Now this popcorn here, my kids talked me into buying. You'll see in a little bit. And it probably wasn't worth the money, but we bought it. They had these holiday themed Welch's fruit snacks for $10. And these Fannie Mae s'mores, the peppermint flavor, I had never seen before. That must be a new thing they're doing this year. That was $9.98. A kid's Fitbit. How cool is this? It was $79.88 and it was minion colored. They had a lot of different pottery um, or like cook, cooking things on sale. This was $39.91 and it was two big pots. And on to Christmas. This guy was taller than me and he was $229. As you guys can see here, um, or you're going to see in a minute, it was impossible for me to show you all the Christmas stuff up close because of this long line. So I got the best sort of footage that I could, but I realized I did miss some pricing on the Christmas stuff. I do end up buying these LED lights and I'll show you guys those in a minute. They were $12 and they, I'm so excited about them to use them for a few different projects that I have going on. And moving on to toys, they had this balance bike for $59.98. This would be perfect for a three or four year old um, or even a two year old that was pretty well balanced and learning how to balance and all of that. Guys, these hydro cups I wanted so bad. <laughs> if anybody out there needs to get me a Christmas present, if my family's watching this, this is what I want. I want this set of hydro cups for $19.98. And then they just had all of the pottery not pottery, why do I keep saying that? All the pots and pans, the Instapots, the air fryers, all of that. They even had the Ninja Foodie on sale for $2.29, which is a pretty good deal for Hey, y'all, come back here. This Christmas garland was gorgeous. It was $45, and I think I might buy it closer to Christmas time. I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you some of these fabulous toys. A new dollhouse apparently that they have going on. I'm gonna turn you around. They had this basketball like shooting set for $129. This little hoverboard scooter thing for $269 was pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at this pogo stick. Super go pogo. Jump two feet high. That is $20. What a way for my kids to break their necks. <laughs> they have an easel for $64.98. Ooh, this kid's play kitchen play center looks pretty cool. So that's $100 or $99.98. Made of real wood. That looks nice. Beachside dollhouse. Oh, 65 accessories. And that is $139. It's pretty cool. mini brands five surprises for $29.98 as well as the mini brand series three. Ooh, a Disney princess doll oh here's a big huh 
That's interesting. What is that? That one is... Kids karaoke machine, my first fiesta. It's pretty cool. This piano is two hundred and forty nine dollars. What is that? Kids Cozy Hanging Pod. Watch out, baby. Look, it's right there. Yeah, this is it right here. Oh, Kylie has that. These KitchenAid mixers are $359, and they have every color. Mom, you have one of these mixers? I'm finally seeing all of the Glade, like, fall scents and Christmas scents. I almost bought this Pine Wonderland, but soon enough, I try to wait till after Christmas, but they were about $10 a piece. And then, guys, these gorgeous Christmas outfits for the girls. I might end up coming back and buying these. They had this reindeer one and then also this Santa Claus ones. These did have some leggings underneath. Um, so they were like a full, it wasn't a dress. It was like a, you know, full set. Um, but those were so stinking adorable. And they were $14.98 a piece. And then they started to have out all of the Christmas dinnerware. So they had the Christmas napkins for $10, the plates for $9.76, and then the cups were a little bit more expensive at $11. These were little pumpkin cake bites they had in the bakery department. They were expensive. They were like $18, which I thought was a little pricey for that. I mean, basically pumpkin cake balls. And then they had this silk pie as well. So they did have ham, but you guys will see, I'll let you know in a few minutes, they don't have turkey. The ham was $1.88 a pound, which I don't really know pricing on ham, so I don't know if that was a good deal or not. And they also had some fruit trays out. I always check out all of these pre-made meals, but I never buy them because I feel like I can make them for cheaper. But they had like spicy chicken tacos, some different pasta, casserole type dishes, a chicken pot pie. They have this whole section of just pre-made meals. Here we have some pumpkin Alfredo, which is a little weird for $8.98 and some more little pumpkin spiced bites. These were like a chocolate ganache and they were in the refrigerated section. So I'm assuming you'd have to keep them cold. This stuff here is the kids absolute favorite thing ever. This peppermint bark they put out every Christmas. It is $8.98, so we're going to go ahead and grab our first bit of Peppermint Park this year. And then we got to the section of all of the little holiday goodies and gift sets and, I mean, everything you could possibly imagine. They had popcorn and hot chocolate mugs and even there was like a little Italian dinner package you could give, nut collections all of the things this was a little Ghirardelli cookie um, like countdown to Christmas almost like an advent calendar they had all of the things and the prices were usually around $20 I did think this was cute it was six different little coffee mugs filled with hot chocolate and marshmallows that you could give for different you know a little gift for teachers or whatever something like that but they had all of these gift sets a ton of them to choose from I typically don't buy these but I thought I would go ahead and show them to you guys while I was here because you might be interested in some of them I did think this one was cute as well it's like a different different thing in each box but that one was more expensive at $35 then I saw a gingerbread house this was a pre-assembled gingerbread house which is my kind of gingerbread house and that was $12 and finally, the cookie aisle. They're all of the European chocolate cookies, the shortbread cookies, all of the cookies. Okay guys, so I just got back from Sam's Club. It is 5.48, almost six o'clock at night, um, and I didn't get a turkey. I think I mentioned in the store that I asked the Sam's Club guy and they just said that they don't have them out yet. They do have the turkey, no, 
sorry, the ham, spiraled ham out. But Chris um, actually works in grocery stores throughout the day. Um, like he has different accounts and goes into different stores. And he said that he's just now starting to see some turkeys come in. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, well, no, like in the next week, I'll be able to find a turkey for Thanksgiving. So I did get some fun stuff though that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the different things that like the holiday themed stuff that they have out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we picked up. I spent about $150 and I didn't even get what I went in for. I don't think I got, I mean, I got a few like little things, like I needed some disinfectant wipes, stuff like that, but I didn't get the turkey, so whatever. It is what it is. I spent about $150 and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we picked up because I did get a few specialty items. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we're gonna start down here on this side this time. So I picked up this thing of Quilted Northern. It is, let's see, how many rolls? 32 jumbo rolls. Um, we didn't need toilet paper. However, I've been noticing that it hasn't been as easy to get lately. And this was actually the only brand that they had left other than some like Angel Soft or something like that. So I did go ahead and grab that. I showed you guys this in the store. This is the peppermint bark, the Williams Bennett peppermint bark. We buy this every single year, at least a couple of times per season, and it's delicious. So I went ahead and picked that up. I picked these up, these LED micro wire lights. These were like $12. I actually picked these up to use in my backdrop for my ASMR videos, the true crime channel that I started, which I know a lot of you have checked it out. If you haven't, I will link it below. Um, we cover three cases a week over there in an ASMR style, so definitely check that out. But I thought that these warm, um, like thinner lights would do better for my backdrop for that. So I picked these up. I don't think I'll use them all for that, so I'll probably use a few of them for Christmas. I also grabbed these mini chocolate chips cookies i figured these would be good to throw in the kids lunches um, for school or just to let them have as a good treat after school um, and they asked me for them so i let them pick them up this was another one of these specialty like holiday things they had these cheeto popcorn so it's cheeto popcorn and cheetos crunchy it looks like there's yeah, just like a bag of each inside this tin, essentially. Hopefully it's a big bag, because otherwise I literally just paid for the tin. But um, I might actually use this tin for like puppy food or something after it's done. So I don't know, maybe we'll get some use out of it. But it is a nice Christmas themed tin. Then I saw these um, Jimmy Dean sausage biscuits, the 36 snack size sandwich biscuits. I have not been able to find Jimmy Dean biscuits like this at Sam's Club or really even at like Food Lion in bulk for a while. So I went ahead and grabbed one of these. If I could have fit two of them, then I would have gotten two of them, but I didn't think that they would fit in my freezer. I also grabbed some of these Southern style chicken bites. They're already open because Bryson just made some for dinner. We had pizza and he didn't want pizza. So he made some of these. These are like the Chick-fil-A um, chicken nuggets, I guess, if you've ever had those. I mean, who hasn't? These taste like those. So grab those. Those are like $10 a bag. And then Finley needed some new sleepers. Um, she's been going through sleepers like crazy. So this one's just this little sheep. I did buy them in a 2T, which will probably be too big on her. Um, but I'm hoping they will get her through the winter. So I grabbed a sheep one. And then this polka dot one, I believe, just has like a bear on the front. Yeah. Um, these are only $7.98 at Sam's Club with an MSRP of $20. So can't beat that. I grabbed two of those. These I actually did not pay for. We are hosting Thanksgiving this year, as I mentioned, which is why I was looking for a turkey. Um, but my mom actually saw these and bought them to contribute to Thanksgiving dinner. Um, so I guess we're eating on paper this year because she bought this huge thing of purple lights. But um, it is definitely easier cleanup. So we got this platter size thing. I believe she paid $9.98 for them. And there is 55 of them in there, which is way more than we need. So we'll probably be using Thanksgiving plates like into December. I grabbed these Hostess donuts as a quick um, like breakfast for the kids with some fruit or something. They didn't have the ones that I normally buy, um, which is a little unfortunate, but we did get these. 
And then the last two things that I bought is just some gain, which again, I was just there. So decided that I just needed to pick one up. So I didn't run out before my next trip. And then I did need disinfectant wipes. This was one of the things that was like on my list that I needed when we have all hardwood in our house. And so when Piper has an accident, which hasn't really been that often, but when she does have an accident, it's super easy to just take a paper towel and clean it up and then wipe it up with a disinfectant wipe. So we've been going through a lot of these. She only has an accident like every other day or so. She really is doing really well, but I like to have these on hand. So that is everything that I got at Sam's Club. Again, I spent $150. There's Bryson already opening peppermint bark. Um, and yeah, didn't get a turkey, but hopefully I will find one soon. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for some Thanksgiving holiday themed grocery hauls. Um, and yeah, until next time guys, I hope you have a fantastic evening and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.